Hey, what's up, VC? I'm back with another video. This is a big edition of The Mail, brought to you by the one and only Metal Ron Haggerty. Uh, this is actually the contest winnings from his 300 subscribers contest. Um, I won his contest, and, you know, instead of having, like, you know, given away an Amazon gift card or something, or having a specific record he was giving away, he wanted to make the prize, you know, fit to the person who won it, and... I was the one that won it, so this is cool. I really like the idea for this, you know, you kind of cater to the person instead of having, you know, an album that one person might want and one might not. But anyway, I uh, have no clue what's in here. He didn't say anything. Uh, but yeah, thank you for whatever is in here, Ron. Uh, he wrote VCLT all over here, contest winnings. So that was really cool. So thank you so much, Ron, uh, already. Um, so we'll go ahead and bust this open, see what's in here. Like I said, I have no clue. Um, you know, he kind of asked me a couple things I may be looking for, a want list, I think. Uh, but I don't know. So this will be really interesting. So we'll go ahead and get right into here. Take the top layer off. Oh, man, this thing is packed full of stuff. Um, so we'll go ahead and just set the box over here uh, we got a note to start it off thank you Ron um, so first off we have um, a CD it is overkill immortalis I think um, the DVD edition uh, with live performance from whack and open air 2007 um, so that's really cool. He sent me Overkill's newest album in the last VCLT he sent me. Um, and I really enjoyed it. You know, I never had really listened to him. Uh, but so many people had talked um, so highly of him. And I did give that a listen and enjoyed it. So definitely going to give this a listen too. Uh, check it out. I'll let you know what I think about it. Thank you so much for that. Um, then we have another CD. Uh, it's Anvil. Uh, Anvil is Anvil. Um... I've heard people talk about this one too, uh, but never um, listened to them. And this one is actually signed on the inside, so that is so cool. I know Ron went and saw them a while back. Um, so yeah, I have no clue. I've never even listened to them, so this is definitely cool. Um, so we'll let you know about this too. Uh, so that's really cool. Thank you so much for that. And we have one final CD, I believe. Nope. We have another one. I'll do that one first. Uh, it's Biogenesis, uh, a decade divine, promotional use only, uh, a little promo single, um, or the promo album, the whole album. So I've never even heard of them. So definitely will be giving that a listen. And then he asked me if I had this in my collection. I didn't. I've never even heard this album. Uh, it's Iron Maiden Somewhere in Time. I've heard so much about this album, heard it's great, but I've just never listened to it. So definitely looking forward to checking this out. Uh, looks like this is a special edition with some bonus stuff, video footage. Um, it's one of those enhanced CDs that has uh, computer stuff on it too. So that's super cool. And we do have one cassette tape. Uh, it's Tora Tora Surprise Attack. Uh, this is a band I've heard of, but never listened to. So definitely looking forward to checking that out. And this is really cool. Uh, it's a card from his church he goes to. Um, Calvary Chapel Worship Center. Uh, it says Jesus is the answer, so that's really cool. Um, I wish this was a, a sticker. Um, I mean, so I might tape this on my window anyway in my car. Uh, but if it was a sticker, I'd stick it right on there. Because that's really cool. And then we have some little posters in here. Like concert posters um, and Anti Hero, uh, the Bronx Gasket Co. Never even heard of them. It's just an ad for the album. So that's cool. And we have Daddy Cool Records, two stickers there. I'll stick one of those in my car. And we have a Kill Fest Tour 2009 with Overkill, Exodus, Gamma Bomb, and Torture Squad. That's really cool. It has some tour dates for uh, Girl School on the back. Shout out to Greg the Egg back. Blackmore Rules there. Uh, he's a big fan of theirs. Um, and then here's another one. Um, European Kill Fest tour dates uh, 2011. 
uh, with Overkill, Destruction, Heathen, and After All. And then it has Saxon on the back, so that's really cool. I like these little tour flyers. And we have a Bags Unlimited um, thing right here. I was actually looking into them a while back because I need to order some sleeves, you know, outer sleeves, inner sleeves, all the all that good stuff for my collection. So that's cool. And then we have a copy of Rock Hard Magazine, and I see an album in here that or a single I've been looking for. Uh, but Rock Hard Magazine from 2012 with Overkill on the cover. Um, and I guess this is a German magazine because it looks like it's in German. That's still cool because it's got all sorts of cool pictures in here and it says on the cover it's got Sammy Hagar in here, Angel Witch, Bad Religion, Axel Rudy Pell. Also shout out to Greg Dieg, Blackmore Rules there. He's a big fan of theirs. And I like all these cool magazines because you know it has all the cool ads on the back like Accept. Uh, you got Overkill. You know it might have some cool pictures in here, some bands I might discover from this. So that's cool. And this is cool. He sent a wristband that also says Jesus is the answer from his church. Uh, so I'll go ahead and put that on right now. Not a huge fan of wristbands and stuff like that, but this one I definitely will wear. So there you go. Um, and then we have... Oh, it's one of his... Um, it is this the one that you had in your video? It's a record holder. You know, you set it on your shelf and you can put an album in it when you're listening to it and it says Jesus loves you stamped on it. I know he has one in his video. I don't know if he had another one or if he... Um, sent me the one he had, but that's cool. That's really cool. Uh, and then we'll do the single first that I was talking about. He actually sent me a picture of this one um, when he found it. He said he found it at a flea market, and I couldn't believe it because I've been looking for this single for a while. Uh, it's Dawkins Heaven Sent, backed with Mr. Scary. Uh, Mr. Scary is a killer instrumental if you've never heard it. Uh, and you know, I told him that I'd been looking for it for a while. And I didn't think he was going to send it to me, but he actually did. So thank you so much for that. Definitely happy to have that. And that's cool. I've never really looked at the back of this because I've only seen pictures of it online. Uh, but it has all the tour dates from the Monsters of Rock uh, that Dokken was on with Metallica, Kingdom Come, Scorpions, Van Halen, I think. Um, and uh, I already said Metallica. Um, I think that was it. There might have been another band, but yeah, that's really cool. And here's an album I've never even heard. I've seen it, but I've never heard it. It's Accepts Breaker. Um, and he bought this at the sound exchange that he went to because I remember when I went there, it had the same label. Uh, so that's really cool. This one's Mint in the Shrink. Um, and it says it has the original inner sleeve, so we'll check that out. Um, this is on Passport Records. I actually just picked up a record that was on Passport. Um, an import no it says printed in the United States but it says you know the GmbH on the back that usually is on German stuff no but it's a US pressing so that's cool um, it says it has no it says it has a custom inner sleeve on the front but he may have stuck it in a different sleeve so that's really cool though because I've never even heard this album so definitely gonna check that out So we'll put that to the side. We have another one. He asked about this. He asked if I had any Angel in my collection. And I said no. Uh, it's their album White Hot. And actually, I didn't know that this was uh, the band that... I didn't know Greg Giafria was in this before he formed the band Giafria because I like them. Yeah, I've never really looked into any of Angel's music. You know, I've heard a couple songs, but never really went too deep into it so I didn't even know that so that's cool um, so we'll take this one out this one has the inner sleeve band on it lyrics and there's the back cover that's really cool I like this cover so y'all have to let you know about this one let you know what I think so I'll definitely give this a listen and we'll move on to the next one and it looks like we have a couple Elvis. Uh, we have Spin Out, which I don't have in my collection, I believe. Um, 
And this has the original RCA Elvis inner sleeve. And this is a mono pressing. Wow. And it's in really nice shape. Like I said, I don't think I even have this in my collection, but if I do, it's definitely a stereo pressing. So that's really cool to have a mono pressing. So that's really cool. Thank you so much for that. And we have another one. Another one I didn't have for my Elvis collection. Uh, it's uh, Kissing Cousins, the soundtrack. And I'm, I'm certain that I don't have this one. So it's the back of that. And this one also has the original Elvis RCA inner sleeve. And this one is a stereo pressing. In really nice shape. So that is super cool. Thank you so much for that. And it looks like we have one more. And this is Tennessee Ernie Ford, Sing a Hymn With Me. Not sure if this was a joke or not, but I actually do like some of his music. He's a great singer. Um, it's on Capitol. And it has an insert in there. So yeah, thank you for so much for that, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.